Sunday. So today's video is a little bit different. Um, it is not a typical weekly vlog. It is a vlog of the next few days because I am going to Ibiza, babes. I'm going to Ibiza on Tuesday. I've got a lot of work to do, a lot of prep, a lot of prep to do today. <laughs> and I'm going with Tequila Rose, which I think is going to be absolute bloody chaos so next week's vlog is sponsored by tequila rose which truly is a dream come true but it means that i need a video for today so i thought i would just vlog the prep me packing i did this something like this for um paris and you guys really liked that video so thought i would do something similar i've ordered a few bits because obviously tequila rose is pink like this shade of pink so um i wanted to get a few pink kind of beach club appropriate outfit so i've placed an order for a few outfits so i thought i would um do a little try on haul with you in this video um i've ordered way more than i need i'll return quite a bit of it i just don't know what's going to suit me because i don't have a lot of time because it was a very very last minute trip i um just ordered loads of things and I'll see which ones I feel like taking. I now have the itinerary of what we're getting up to so I can plan specific outfits for specific events, which is good. I really, really wish I could have got my hair done before, but I'm getting my hair done in a couple of weeks. Um, so we're going with very dry, damaged hair. <laughs> Not the vibe, but it's fine. It is just fine. Step one in my Ibiza prep is I'm going to get my lips topped up today i'm not getting them done for ibiza it's just a coincidence i get my lips done like once a year and um i booked in uh, a couple of weeks ago and then i found out i was going to ibiza hopefully the swelling will have gone down by the time we get there fingers crossed swelling's fine as long as there's no bruising swelling doesn't really matter and even bruising i can kind of cover but it's harder to cover and like a beach club when i'm planning on getting in the water <laughs> i barely get any i literally get like 0.15 just to um fill out my cupid's bow a little bit um and i also have an imbalance this one breaks down faster than this side so i just even out the top lip and then i add a tiny bit in the bottom just to give my lip a bit more of a pout like i'm really not someone who gets a crazy amount done because if you look at my pictures from like before i started getting lip filler um they're significantly bigger than they were before because it does kind of, it doesn't break down entirely. Like every time you get it, there is a build up. So each time I get it done, I get less to account for how much has already stayed. Like I'm not someone who just gets 0.5 every time. I, it's tweakment. I barely get anything. Um, but I just think it makes such a difference to my face. It just really balances out my features. I've got quite big eyes. I do my big eyebrows. I've got kind of a biggish nose and quite a big jaw. So when my lips were really small, uh it just my face just didn't look as balanced as i'd like so um i know some people are really against lip fillers personally i don't care if you care it's not your face <laughs> i used to be really polite about it and be like just keep your opinions to yourself blah, blah. i don't care if you hate lip fillers don't get them yourself if you don't like them Honestly, I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, some of the orders are coming today, so I'll have a look through them, and I might do my fake tan tonight. But I'm gonna put on a tiny little bit of makeup just so that I feel a bit less like a thumb. Ola Henriksen Glow Cycle Retinol. I used to use this all the time. It's the purple retinol alternative. I used to use this all the bloody time, and then um, ran out and didn't buy it because of Project Ten Pattern. So now I'm thrilled to have it back in my life. The Supergoop Glow Screen is one of my favorite SPFs. This and the Thank You Pharma. This one's SPF 50, this SPF 30. But it's nice because it's got like a slight tint to it um, and a glow to it, which is lovely. That is my concealer. This is basically my beach makeup. Woo! Let's put you there. My beach the transformation part one. Getting my lippies plumped. I'm excited. I love getting my lips done. I mean, I hate the actual act, but I just feel like such a bad bitch once they're healed. Just give you that little bit of pout and I don't feel like I need to wear lip liner as much. Just put on a lip gloss. I'm gonna put on some lip gloss now. 
right now I feel like I need a lip liner to make that look good. Let's get some gum in. Let's get some tunes on. Let's get some hyaluronic acid up in here. Honey, I'm home and I am swollen. But here they are. I've already got, because it's so warm, it's really, really, really common when it's hot that people bruise more. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be quite bruised tomorrow. Getting a bruise here. Do you remember last time I had a bruise like on my top lip? I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time because it was quite hard to cover, but I might get a bit down here. I got a little under half a mil, so that's me done. I'm not gonna leave the house today or I think even tomorrow. I might try and go to the gym tomorrow, but we'll see how the bruising is doing because I'm not supposed to exercise within like 24 hours. There's so many flies in my house, they're driving me insane. So I'm just gonna stay in. I'm gonna do loads of laundry um, and get everything ready for next week. She's done such a good job. I'm really happy with them. Hello, <laughs> little naked worm <laughs> over here. Look here. I'm about to fake tan, and I have like three or four fake tans that I use in rotation that I really love, and. The one I picked up today is the U Tan and Tone Turbo Self Tanning Mousse. So this you can do for an hour, two hours, three hours or eight plus hours. I'm going to do it overnight so it's probably going to be like six hours because I'm literally going to go straight to bed. And because I'm going to do my sheets and everything tomorrow so I thought I'll just sleep in it tonight. And it's actually honestly fake tanning when it's hot. It's genuinely a mission because um, you don't want to sweat it off. So I honestly think I can just lie in front of my fan and hopefully not sweat too much in the night and this will probably be the best way to get a even tan. Find out, won't we my love? Sorry, I'm trying to take off my... I need someone to help me! <laughs> uh -huh. Taking off my jewellery is a two-person job. Come on, bro! Work with me here, dude. I just had a bath. You can probably hear I've just put on the last load of laundry. Yes, I now have a massive pile of clean laundry, but that's tomorrow's job. All of the laundry is clean. Tomorrow is my last day of sorting my life out and getting myself feeling good have you done it oh my god i'm so sorry i'm really apparently incapable of doing basic i wasn't joking when i said i need someone to help me take off my bracelets i really struggle i'm really cack handed my dad always says it to me he's always like for someone who does things so intricately on their eyes and like i did ra level like i can paint and i can draw he's like when you do like life tasks like do the dishes or try to open something or try and take your jewellery off he's like I've never seen someone so cack handed I do things wrong but as long as it comes to the same end I guess it doesn't really matter but I just look <laughs> cripplingly awkward while I try <laughs> come on <laughs> this is actually pissing me off my lip she looking rough I honestly look awful Who's texting me? No, no one interesting. <laughs> How the hell? Okay, like. Yes! As I was saying, the U Tan and Turn. U Tan and Tone, and I usually use the spray on my face, but I've run out of that, so I'm just gonna put this on my face. I never break out from it, and apparently my skin's breaking out anyway, so. I'm gonna tan up. And then I'm gonna go to bed, what's the time? It's five past 10. I'll probably be in bed by half past 10. Get up, go to the gym, smash my last workout before the trip. I'm tanning tonight rather than tomorrow because I wanna try on all the bikinis and everything and uh, I feel more confident with a tan. <laughs> Honestly, that's the main reason why. Okay, all right, I need to tan and then I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm tan. Nice to meet you, tan. <laughs> but no, I am, I am bronzed. Even though I still look rough, I do just look better when I'm tan. <laughs> I just look healthier. My bed sheets are now tan, so I'm going to strip the bed. It is 6 a.m. Um, I don't know why I'm up so early. I was gonna have a lie-in, actually, because uh, <laughs> I have a very early flight tomorrow. I naturally woke up, so I'm oh, okay, might regret that. I naturally woke up at 5.30, decided to roll with it and get up. Let me strip this bed, put the wash on, shower off my tan. Actually no, I'm gonna have my coffee first. Let this marinate a little bit longer and then shower it off. You are balanced so precariously right now on the top of a water bottle that looks like this. 
<laughs> okay, I've written my to-do list. So this is assuming that I don't have any work come in. Um, and by work come in, I have no deadlines today. I have no deadlines um, up until I leave for the trip. So for like paid work, I'm good. I don't have to do any work today. Uh, this is basically purely a prep day, which is amazing. But I can't be sure that I won't get an email or a text from my manager saying that a brand needs some amendments done. The scale of amendments varies massively. Some people just want a little text box changed on a story. Some people want an entire refilm and re-edit. It's not even 9am yet and I haven't had any emails. Uh, we're going to play that by ear. This is assuming that I don't have any working. Fake tan, check. Strip bed, check. Yes, I write down things I've already done to make me feel more productive. You'd be lying to yourself and me if you tell me you don't do that too. Buy white nail varnish because I need to paint my tootsies. I need to go to the gym, shower, shower again when I get back from the gym. Do like a hair mask and like deep clean. Show you guys my outfits and a little haul. Um, so I need to show you guys what I've picked up and try them on for you. And then also while I do that, I like to plan my outfits, so I put whole outfits together and then I tend to try and pack them together so I have like pre-packed outfits planned. It removes the stress on the day. I did three loads of laundry yesterday, so I need to fold and put away the clothes. Take the bins out. Oh, I've written that twice. There's a job ticked right there. I need to empty the dishwasher, wipe down surfaces and clean the bathroom. Pack the clothes that I've planned, pack my makeup, pack my filming equipment, I'm taking my big camera, my big boy camera, I need to take all the charges, just make sure I've got everything because obviously I'm going for work so I need, that's quite an important step. I need to remake my bed, paint my toenails with the previously mentioned white nail varnish, wash my makeup brushes and whiten my teeth. Do dribs and drabs of any work that comes in throughout and then I'm staying at my friends who I'm taking on the trip with me tonight so I need to get to their house tonight because we're going from Stansted airport really early good morning did I say good morning already yeah I read out my to-do list wow I was not awake when I did that I've showered off my tan my hands are a little bit orange but it's okay I have today and tomorrow morning to wash my hands a lot. I've just done my no makeup makeup again because I am heading to the gym to go and do a full body workout because it's going to be probably the only workout I get in all week so I just want to hit every muscle group a little bit today. Outfit of the day for the gym. I'll probably do two leg exercises, two push chest, two pull back and then two arms. But we'll see how I'm feeling. We will see how I feel. No more procrastinating him. On the bridge where the tide can't flow, snap vivid like the Nikon. Been cold with the vibe warm, keep it locked like the vice arm. They got her twisted like the coat arm, heart something froze like the snowstorm. Her toe bag matched the throat charm. She from the land of the sand where they flex so subtle when a drink mint muddle left home and her man in the game that he played for the sand in the shade. She parades you to square in her shades. She like why you do that, niggas be deceptive. Yeah, I'm pretty restless. Long as the check is addressed to a resident. She sell pill therapy, she beats in on clearance, but she shopping for clarity. Reap what she sold for the dividend. Know what time is the medicine? Copping the wristwatch, Cartier with the bezel on the credit. The manner has rubbers do. I swear she, she's so sad. Sadistic, defensive, pessimistic, reclusive, she too lit, independent, she too quick to dismiss courtship, concerned with malice, she pile up as the bout in, she throws a talent, she clutch a half full chalice, sip you from fountains, check her rap, she sick, maneuver mountains, I...
I let the thumbnail distract me from the bigger picture. Losing sanity to misplaced feelings. Russian cats keeping her makeup bristles. Hotline bling, she sent a thousand kisses. I just tripped, I sold a million tickets. I'm way too focused on this image lately. My mind is racing, million miles a minute. No time to slide, I guess I'm bad with distance. I never text you back, lady, my thoughts they drifted. Around the shots to keep us all from losing who we are. We're products of a generation where we swipe and left across the interface. Gym done. I feel so much better. I'm glad that I prioritized going to the gym this morning. I feel like energized. There's times, who's messaging me? Um, there's times where I come back from the gym and I'm just like, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, when I've done like a super, super intense session, but I just did five exercises, three sets of each exercise. Um, half upper body, half lower body, a push and a pull basically of each. Just like a good feeling session to get me moving and I feel good for it, but I don't feel exhausted because I have a lot to get done today. And it's 12 now, bang on, 12 o'clock. Um, I've ticked off four things off my list. I'm gonna wash my brushes next. <laughs> Okay, so far I have washed my makeup brushes, I've faked hand, done all that, been to the gym. I'm now on the outfit trying on segment. <laughs> and so far I hate everything. <laughs> so far I hate everything. I'm now onto this, which I can't tell if it's hideous or a moment. <laughs> and by the time this video goes up, I'll already be home. So I'm making these choices on my own. I mean, I'll maybe post them on my story. This is a little Opoly number. So it's like, it's like see-through at the back with the built-in body. Uh, so obviously Tequila Rose is pink. So I wanted to get like a really like Ibiza pink dress. But I feel like, I feel like one of the bird ladies from Zeusical. <laughs> I'm like, hang on, there we go. Like, I'll take a picture. I'm gonna send a few options to my friends and see what they have to say. Here's potential number one. Number two, I'm just not sold, guys. Number two, but it's like, oh my God, is my tip falling out? <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised, darling. Closed on this side, asymmetrical, higher on this side. Mm. Situation from the back. I'm not sold, I'm gonna send a picture to my friend again. I don't know, is it because I'm getting my belly out? Am I just feeling self-conscious? Shouldn't feel self-conscious. My body is wonderful, my body is a temple, it does so much for me. Bellies are adorable, I love my belly. And you should love your belly too. <laughs> okay, same dress, different color, much, much more into the orange. I actually like this one. I think this one's fun. This could be really fun for a club night. Hello. Um, this could be really fun to go clubbing. Okay, I think we have a win. Now I just need a couple more wins. What do we think? Little bikini, so the skirt is separate. They're very cheeky. They're very cheeky bikini bottoms. This is a very Ibiza look. I think this one might be coming with me. Full, full spill. Uh, this is a good like day beach party into clubbing outfit. It basically, like people wear dresses that are more revealing than this, honestly. She's a bit more glam. I don't know if that's the vibe I want. It's pretty though. These like diamante straps are really cute. And you can go braless with this as well. Um, I like it, I just don't think it's the most flattering on me, but it's a cute dress. I don't think it's for me. Okay, this top's cute for like sat down dinners. The village feeders are not supported in any way, but I really like the top. It's got all these little diamantes. I think it's quite pretty. I think it's quite pretty. <laughs> Dinner, wear it with jeans, vibe. Maybe not for Ibiza, but I might keep it anyway for 
like date nights because I think it is really flattering. What do we think? Should I wear it with these as a trackies? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that haul, haul if I can even call it that, was such a massive fail. I honestly, I've kept three things out of not three things and I haven't shown you half of it because I don't actually like it that much. So buying myself some lovely things for Ibiza hasn't gone that well. But it's fine, I'll still pack with you. I'll just take things I already own. What a concept, huh? Okay, I'll be honest, we lost a little bit of momentum there. I had my lunch and then I fell into a bit of a food coma and then I started scrolling and now I've hit the 4 p.m. lull and I still have a crap ton left to do. So it's time to get that momentum back, babes. I am going to do my makeup bag. I've kind of got packing my makeup bag down pat. It's much quicker. I basically take the same things on every trip now. So if you watch the Paris prep vlog, it's basically all the same products. And if there's anything different, I will show you. Doing a little bit of multitasking. I am tan touring, which is something I always do before holiday because it gives you a bit of shape while you're on the beach. So I contour, I add freckles, nose contour, a little bit on my forehead and a little bit under the jaw. When you go swimming, you're not wearing any makeup. It gives you a little bit of a a natural looking contour which is always nice i'm also gonna whack my teeth whitening strips in look i'm, I'm hoping these chill out oscar commented on them today he was like em your tan looks great but your hands are bright orange <laughs> tell how it is mate for my mascara i'm gonna take the benefit bad girl bang waterproof i've actually never tried this so fingers crossed it's good i'm taking the tarte shape tape throwback in the shade tan sand for heavy club nights that stuff will not move depending on how i feel on the day these are the three i'm gonna take my glowish my l'oreal true match plumping tinted serum uh which is absolutely gorgeous i've been mixing it with my glow screen as my everyday base at the moment i just mix those two together and it's stunning so i'm obviously taking my glow screen glow screen and i'm also taking my nars uh, light reflecting foundation in the shade Barcelona. For me foundation is the thing that I kind of switch out the most. Other than that everything's staying about the same. Oh I got this the other day. The NYX Born to Glow foundation but it may be yeah it's not my shade right now but I'm excited to try this. I picked this up from Superdrug. It looked intriguing to me. Obviously my Hollywood flawless filter. I really recently picked up the NARS cream bronzers. Um, just the one. I picked up Laguna 3. I like that they're all called Laguna, but they're just shaded. So it's like Laguna 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, and that they have like a color system. So this is the equivalent to their Casino shade, which is the bronzer that I use. So it's a really deep, cool toned, well, it's a warm color, but it's on the cooler side of warm um, bronze. And it's a really nice contour, it's nice and dark. And I've been wearing this a lot and I really love it. So I'm gonna take that as my cream contour. Oh, I'm getting excited now, I'm getting a bit excited. Taking my usual blush, my um, Fenty hot pink blush and Patrick Ta. So this is Bikini Martini from Fenty and the Patrick Ta. She's so vibrant. Those are the blushes I'm gonna take. My Skin Dew from Viva's my highlight. My usual Benefit product. I might take my Vive eyeshadow palette. I haven't worn proper eyeshadow in a while. Um, a red lip, a nude lip, and a pink lip. And that's about it. It's honestly, yeah, the usual. You've seen it all before. Right, I'm gonna put some teeth whitening strips in. Packed. All right, we've hit a crucial spot. We're packing clothes. I've done my makeup, done. I've decided I'm taking a small suitcase because I always take a big one when I don't need to take half the shit. And then I just fill it because I have all the space and I don't need to. And I just massively overpack and I need to get the train tonight to East Croydon. Um, and I can't be asked to carry a massive suitcase. For my standards, we're gonna try and pack light. This is all my like fun stuff. So glitters, lashes, body glows, like things that could spill get messy because body glows always leak and glitters are messy anyway. So I just keep them in a separate thing to keep everything clean. Fragrances, um, hair products, like 
toiletries so shoes wise i think i'm going to live in these i got these off of depop they were from shein i think i'm just gonna live in these they're literally like walking on a cloud so i think i'll wear these to the airport i realistically won't wear these but i want to take them potentially for a picture my hot pink zara wedges um i just want to have like a pop of pink in every picture but i know that some of the backgrounds are going to be pink so i don't want to be completely pink because i just think it would be over overkill i do want to incorporate pink into every outfit which is funny because pink's not usually a color i wear that much but um i want to be on brand i like to be I, li I think you've probably picked up that i like to be color coordinated with my content like if i work with a brand i like to somehow coordinate my outfit with the product and whatever i just think it's pleasing to the eye and the brands also really like it as well um so yeah i want to wear a little bit of pink so speaking of a bit of pink i've picked up two swimsuits i'm keeping all the labels and stuff because i have definitely got more than i will need um but i've just got this little pink one to go over that because i feel like at beach for like pool parties and beach parties and stuff a lot of the time you'll go onto another place and i like to have like a cover up so i've got i've got a picture of me wearing this that i'll insert this like it looks just brown but it's like sparkly iridescent to go over the top of either that swimsuit or i got this waffle one which is also super cute so i'll just see which one i feel like wearing one of them's a little bit cuter one of them's a little bit more sexy i'm not gonna lie right now I'm not feeling very sexy. <laughs> I feel like a big potato. Big potato, a baked potato. Probably my favorite is I picked out, this is from ASOS, this like neon, is it from ASOS? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. This neon, neon pink, shiny bikini that I'm gonna wear on the first night, I think. Um, and to go over the top of that, a little white sheer skirt you can see it through it again i'll insert a picture of me wearing it so it's like a little bit cheeky but also gives me a little bit of coverage and a bit of confidence if i want to walk somewhere my favorite silver glittery bikini because it's my most flattering um so if i'm feeling a little bit insecure at any point then i can just wear my safety blanket and i also got this cover up which is like open on the bum and i wanted to wear it with the silver bikini look how glittery so excited to sparkle under some lights so I think I'm good on bikinis. I showed you guys obviously some of these tried on. I'm gonna just take a few of these dresses and see how I feel on the day. So I'm gonna take this one, the pink one, but I don't think I wanna wear that one. This orange one definitely has the biggest amount of potential. Potentially this yellow one. As you can tell, I am um, really, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I had a bit of a confidence lack lapse today like trying on the clothes i was just like i'm just not feeling very confident in my body at the moment which is sad very very sad for m because obviously i've been working for a very long time to kind of practice more body neutrality and feeling confident in my body but i'm not gonna lie at the moment i'm feeling a little bit in insecure a little bit self-conscious so the fact that i'm about to go to ibiza where people literally like and i'm not telling you you, you should do this but people literally go on like 12 week diets to prep for ibiza like ibiza is just like a place where people go to look good because it's just a holiday and everyone's so pissed no one cares anyway but um the fact that i'm going somewhere so like that i'm a bit like I'm gonna have a lovely time regardless. Don't you worry about me. Don't you worry about me. I'm gonna have a lovely time. Honestly, give me one drink and I won't even think about it. It's just right now while I'm sat here without my makeup on with a bruised face and a towel on my head and knowing that in 24 hours I'm gonna be dancing at a pool party <laughs> surrounded by beautiful people. I just can't see how that transformation's gonna happen. <laughs> But it shall, it will, it must. It's imperative. I'll take you as well. Okay, Emma, stop it, it's starting to overpack. <laughs> you gotta catch yourself before it happens and then we'll see what we can work with. Makeup bag. Okay, I think I've done it. Boom. Okay, I've done nearly everything. 
this is the list. I'm gonna reply to comments. I'm getting an Uber instead of a train. I'm gonna reply to comments in the Uber. Um, pick the real songs in the Uber. So those are the last two things. The only thing I didn't finish was the laundry. I did half of it and the other half, oh, and I didn't make my bed. Oh, the laundry in the bed. So I'm gonna come home to a really messy bedroom. That's gonna be nice. Oh well, it's fine. I'd just much rather get into London now because I've got a 4 a.m. Uber. So I'm packed. I'm ready to go, babes. I'm excited. This is gonna be super fun. I got everything, all my chargers, spare. I forgot my spare battery. My laptop, come on Emma. How many times have I packed for trips recently? Let me put on a bit of perfume because I, I haven't put deodorant on. What am I bloody like? I've left my house in a little bit of a state, but it is the way it is. I'm gonna go. The next video you see will be the Ibiza vlog on Sunday next week. I hope you enjoyed this rambly, chaotic, all over the place video. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.